Hi folks, this is uh, the end of the series on, 10 part series on Richard Dawkins, Christmas Evangelist. It's been a reflection of a program that I saw today of Richard Dawkins on Al Jazeera TV. He was debating a Muslim uh, journalist. I, I didn't get the full details, I just watched 40 minutes of it and missed the introduction. And um, I, I, don't, I don't know for sure whether it was at Oxford or Cambridge. Um, but it, it looked at an eminent university, uh, British university, and uh, so we've just spent this ten-part series just reflecting on this university debate, and it was a very stimulating, um, wide-ranging and in-depth debate and discussion, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've just explored some of the issues that came out. One of the issues that was brought up by one Muslim man in the audience and he basically pointed out to Richard Dawkins that you can't demonize all Muslim people that all not all Muslim people have a bomb strapped to their back and he pointed out there are a million Muslims and uh, a billion Muslims and these Muslims are not out killing people um, and so he took exception to this demonizing of all Muslim people. And that's where I want to end tonight uh, debate and discussion and to, to, uh, and, and to offer a call to arms against this militant atheism. I, I did a lot of work on it. Um, I wasn't at my best at the time um, and I have got other things to do. I, I love Muslims. I want to reach out to Muslims. I am a preacher of the gospel. So it's not my call to get politically active against militant atheism, but I, I want to give you a call to arms. Not, not to violence, but a call to intellectual arms, to do battle intellectually with militant atheists. And I just want to explain to you why that needs to be done. You see, People like Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris and, and Christopher Hitchens and um, Daniel Dennett and all these uh, kind of militant type of atheists that are operating on YouTube, they operate out of hatred and ignorance, hatred towards religious people, demonizing religious people, uh, producing fear towards religious people. And it's not good for society, but only causes more division. Doesn't co promote understanding or unity within nations or uh, working together within nations. It causes distrust and it causes division. And in the end, you end up like Dawkins, like Sam Harris and Hitchens, where religious people are seen especially the fundamentalist kind who believe in say the Bible is the Word of God are seen as the enemy as dark as irrational and possibly evil and could do wrong things like blow people up and this is just an irrationalism and it's just not based on reason it's not based on evidence it's just not logical it's not educated there are million, billion, uh, there's a billion Muslims and just as many Christians that uh, believe the Bible or believe the Quran as the Word of God and they follow their beliefs and they are kind and they are gracious and the Christian faith which I believe is the truth I believe Jesus is the only way to salvation there are millions, tens of millions, billions of people following Jesus doing good deeds day by day and to demonize them as if they're rational when many of them have thought their faith through and believe it on evidence to demonize them because they are doing coffee mornings and helping people in their coffee mornings and setting up charities to help people and doing good deeds to demonize them all is just not educated and is fear mongering and I issue a call to arms to philosophers, to politicians, to journalists to never ever relax your fight against this militant atheism but to give them a rough ride, challenge them 
as journalists challenged them, the Muslim journalists really made Dawkins look silly. He didn't try to make Dawkins look silly, he was just treating Dawkins with respect, but he was asking Dawkins tough questions and Dawkins couldn't deal with it. So I asked the journalist out there, and I asked the philosophers, and I asked the intellectuals out there, the playwrights and the novelists and the media gurus and, and those who have influence in public life, to give these militant atheists a rough ride, to really, really put them on the back foot and challenge them. Because if you don't, ignorance and fear-mongering is going to grow and grow and grow. And these prophets of rationalism, in the end, are not prophets of rationalism, but in the end they're just bringing totalitarianism in the in the back, through the back door by demonizing millions and billions of people who were just law-abiding God-fearing people and that can't be right for society and it can't be right for any real democracy in this modern world we all whether we like it or not have to get on and it's your job to take up arms and challenge these militant atheists to not be so irrational and dogmatic as they are. Thank you.